Let's go ahead and replace our inner steering rack bellows boot. It's located back here over the inner tie rod. The process for the driver's side is the same for the passenger side. Using a 22 millimeter socket, let's go ahead and remove our lug nuts. Let's go ahead and remove our wheel and set it aside. Let's go ahead and loosen our jam nut here. Now that we have our jam nut loose, let's go ahead and loosen the nut for our outer tie rod end. Using our 21 millimeter, let's go ahead and loosen and remove that nut. Now that we have our nut removed, let's go ahead and pop this out. Now what we want to do is go ahead and remove this, but what we're going to do is count the revolutions that it takes to remove it. That way there, when we install our new part, we'll get the same thread count and get a preliminary alignment for this new part. I'll just use a crayon and I'll mark on the inside of the frame rail how many turns it took to remove that. We're going to use a one inch socket to go ahead and remove our jam nut. Now on our bellows boot there's a clamp right here. We're going to use a pair of pliers. I'm going to open up this band work our band off, slide that off and set that aside. Inside of the boot there's going to be a band, a metal band, and I'm going to use a special tip tool to try and get right on the end of this little loop right here. Now this band is a one-time use, so we're going to go ahead and tap this right off. You can remove that and discard it. Now let's go ahead and reach in, grab that boot, and try and work that off of our steering rack. If you can't pull it off, we're just gonna get underneath. And we're just gonna use a pry tool and just kind of tap this off. Once that's off, go ahead and work that down the unit here. And that still doesn't want to come off, so we're just going to simply cut the end of the boot and slide that off. Slide your bellows boot on. Go ahead and work that down. Get that onto your steering rack. Install your outer band clamp here. Just gonna use a pair of pliers. Open that up. Go ahead and slide that down and over the end of that boot. Now on the inside here, we're going to install a plastic tie strap. And this is for the inner boot to the steering rack. Line that up in place. Going to use a pair of pliers here. Snug that up. Once that's tight, go ahead and just cut off the excess. 
Go ahead and thread on your jam nut here. Let's go ahead and thread on our outer tie rod end. Count our 24 turns. I'm just gonna bring that jam nut up close to it. I'm not gonna tighten it yet. Let's remove our tie rod end nut. I'm gonna line this up on our knuckle and install this. And install our castle nut. You want to pay attention to this here. Once we torque this down, you want to watch for the hole in your ball joint stud. We're going to line that up with the hole in the, or a notch in the castle nut and install our cotter pin. We're going to go ahead and tighten our outer tie rod end nut. We're going to tighten this to 22 foot pounds and then an additional 90 degrees. Now at this point, let's match up the hole in our ball joint stud to the notch in our castle nut and install our cotter pin. Install our cotter pin. I'm gonna feed this through and it comes through the other side here. Let's go ahead and bend this over. And tap this up into place. Then we're just gonna snip off the excess. and tighten down our jam nut. And make sure that's pretty snug. Once that's tight, I'm gonna go ahead and grab our outer tie rod. Just level this off. Let's go install your whip. Let's get a lug nut started. Go ahead and snug these lug nuts down. Let's get torque down our lug nuts to 130 foot pounds. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.